This is a short movie that goes over how to rotate any library part that you've created. I've given an example of just a straight slab, but any library part that you create can be rotated using this method. To create a rotating object in ARCHICAD, first of all, start off by creating the object out of some of the various elements that are already available in ARCHICAD. I started off by simply drawing a slab, which I'm going to make rotatable. Next step is to save this as an object. To do that, go to the View tab, go to View Mode, 3D Projection Settings, because we have to view this object from exactly the angle that we want to see it on our floor plan later. So I'm just going to rotate that around, so I've got a 270 azimuth, and I make sure that I've selected Top View. In some cases you'll want to use Side View, depending on how you want to see it on your floor plan later on. Click on OK, and then we go to the 3D window. I'm going to press F5 to go to the 3D window. Now I'll make sure that I don't rotate the object at this point. Next I click on File, Libraries and Object, and choose Save 3D Model As. I want to give this a name. I'm going to call it Rotating Panel. And I click on Save. At this point I need to choose whether it's going to be an object, a window, or a door. And I'm going to choose Object. I want to remove the redundant lines from the symbol, and I must choose Editable GDL Script. I click on Save. This object has now been saved into a library. So if I go to the Library tool now, and I'll find the object, we will find that it will be automatically loaded into the Other Objects folder. I click on OK, and I'm going to delete my original element. I'm doing this for clarity's sake then I'm going to place my new object on the plan. If we go and have a look at the object settings, you can see there are no options under parameters for rotating the object at all. This particular rotation over here only allows for rotation around the screen. As you can see, that only changes it in the plan view only on the X and Y coordinates. Now we can give it additional functionality by going File, Libraries and Objects, and say Open Object. This brings up the script that makes the object work. First of all, we must add some new parameters. In fact, we need to add three new parameters. I'm going to press New, 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 and each one of these, we have to decide what type of parameter it is. So I'm going to check Angle there and all these three will have the same parameters. I'm also going to rename them so we can easily find or type in the name later. First one I'm going to call Rotate X. Second one I'm going to call Rotate Y. And the last one, Rotate Z. In this column here, we get to put a description. A description that will show up in the parameters field when we open the library part. I'm going to call this Rotate X, Rotate Y, and Rotate Z. And finally, we can give some default settings for, these, for this rotation. In this case, we're going to leave them all at zero, so it can stay flat until we decide to tilt them. Then we click on the 2D script, we'll notice that there's nothing there. That's because the 2D script is currently being derived directly from the 3D script. We're just going to add a couple of extra lines here in between the top description and the first line. And those lines will say rot x followed by the name of our parameter, which was rotate x, rot y, followed by rot y, then rot z, followed by the name of the last parameter. Then I click on check script, and it tells us that the script is okay. We need to do one more thing to make this work properly. In the 2D script, 
we need to add in one extra line and that line says project to space 3 comma 270 comma 2 the spelling and the numbers are critical to making it display correctly in the 2d plan view just to highlight that again you must enter this into the 2d script window once I close this and choose save and go into my object settings you'll see that I have three rotation options if I type in a value this will immediately rotate my shape let's just put in some more rotations and you can see quite a dramatic result in the way that this object is displayed and if I go have a look at that in 3D of course it will look the same for now but if I place a completely flat slab underneath you'll see exactly what we've done you now have full control over the rotation and angle of this object.